Hello everyone, Tess Dithard here, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to add the Baldi's Basics Plus Dev API. The reason I'm doing this is because it's still, it's, it's that even though there's tutorials, people still don't understand like the exact rules and how to, you know, add everything in. And the reason I'm doing an API is because I don't know if he did the, is because I don't know if they updated the mod menu yet. So I'm just going to try with a random mod. I'm going to do a seed extension. Just real quick. All right. Okay, so first what you want to do, so first you need to like look at these rules. And if you're confused, here's what, here's what you wanted to do. First you need to have your version, of, you, first you need to have Baldi's Basics Plus 0 0.4, 0 0.4.1, or 0 0.4.2, regardless of which one. Next, you're going to have, once you have your vert, like once you have your game, you'll need to extract it. Alright. Once you extract it, what you then want to do is go back and click on this Bep and Next link, and it'll take you here. And once you're here, you'll need to download the net. And once you're here, you'll need to download the latest Bep and Next update, which is this one. It also works with this one, but I'd suggest you use this one because it's the latest. So you'll need to download it depending on what computer you have. So I'm going to go 64. So, all right, I already have it. I already had it downloaded. So, all right. okay. Next, once you have, and once you download BepinX, you then want to download the actual mod you want to like, like you back the actual mod you want to add into BB Plus. And I'm gonna do the seed extension just because it's like the easiest one you get to do. You then have to, so yeah, you then have to download this. Just have it appear here. All right. What you also need to do is you also need to download the hotfix version. You need to download the actual API here as well, along with like your mod and the Bepin X. Okay. Now, once you have all of, once you have the mod, Bepin X, and the API downloaded, you'll need to extract them all, along with your Baldi's Basics Plus game. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And then the seed extension. Ignore the sand. Ignore the sandbox. Mod, ignore the sandbox. This is just a random Baldi mod. You don't need it. Um. All right. All right. Anyway, now that we have everything downloaded, you then want to go into your Bepin X folder and drag all of this into the where. Once you have all the Bepin X, once, once you extract all the Bepin X stuff, you're going to drag all of this into your Baldi's Basics Plus 0.4 directory. And if you're confused on what the directory is, it basically wants you just to drag it. If you're confused on what the directory is, it basically wants you just to drag it to this area here. Like, you know, the it's the it's the area where, like, the Baldi data, the mono bleeding edge, and the Baldi.exe shows up. Just drag it all into this area here. All right, once you do that, there's, okay, once you do that, you have to open and close the game first. Do whatever you do, do not open this. Whatever you do, do not like click over here and what, what did I just do? Oh yeah. All right, whatever you do, do not like open the Beth and X folder before opening and closing Baldi's Basics Plus. The reason, is, the reason being, and you, you've seen before, is that the only, f is that if you just immediately go into the Bepin X folder without opening and closing the game, it only shows up this core folder. And you do not, and you really don't do anything in here. Like everything is already, so. Yeah, once you dragged everything into directory, quickly open and close the game once. Oh, hi. Welcome to my... Thanks for playing! Come back soon! Alright. Now that we quickly open and close the game... Ignore that. Now that we quickly, quickly open and close the game, we can now go in here, and as you can see, there are more folders that show up. 
Now, what you now what you now need to do is add the API in. And if you follow this rule, it says drag the nt drag this file into the plugin folder, like they said. Meaning you have to drag all of you don't need to drag the readme, just just this. You then I mean you have to drag this API folder into BepinX. Into where is it right here? You need to drag this file into the BepinX folder and then drag it into the plugins folder. And that's how you and once you open the game, you should see the game say you downloaded the API. You added the API, watch. Oh, see? Hi. API 3.4.0.1. Yep, modding API. Thanks for playing! Come back soon! Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how you actually just add a mod. And adding a mod isn't really that hard in this version, unless you unless there's multiple files you need to add in. Uh, adding a mod, like, adding a mod into Baldi's Basics Plus isn't that hard. And since we already did all this stuff, all you actually need to do when you have a mod is you just need to drag it. Wait, oops. All you need to do when you have a mod is you just need to drag it just in the same place you drag the API in, which is the BepinX and Plugins folder. All right, yep. Both of them are in here. So now when you open the game, I should have the seed extension added. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh, hot. Yep, it got added. There's normally nine. You're normally allowed to add nine numbers, but you, you're normally to, allowed to type like nine numbers into a seed. Well, now you can type in 18. And I'm going to do explore mode and see. Yeah, there, there's so many numbers that it goes off the page, meaning both the API and the mod worked. Oh. I'm not going to play this. <laughs> this is. Thanks for playing! Come back soon! Okay, and that's how you add the Baldi's Basics Plus modding API. Um, I'll just quickly go over it again. Basically, move everything in the BepinX folder into this area of Baldi's Basics Plus. Once you do that, quickly open and close the game. Do not go to the BepinX folder first. Open and close the game first, and then go into the BepinX folder. Once doing that, you'll see the plugins folder and move everything, move both the API and your mods here. If there's extra stuff you need to, if it wants you to add in extra files and stuff, you can go into the Baldi data and just follow the, and just follow the, um, places it wants you to put the mods in. If it wants you to put it in like, you know, streaming assets and modded like files here, and then it'll tell you. The seed extension doesn't want, does not want you to do that. It just wants you just to add that in. So I hope this video helps. I might write like a, uh, I think I, I might write like a, um, like a an actual quick tutorial in the description on how to do it if you still don't understand. But I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.